Welcome back, everyone. We are now starting to work on our main riff. We're coming out of the key of A major. Make sure you're in tune. We're getting started. So the A major scale is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Every chord that is in this song is going to use that alphabet to construct the chord tones. The chord tones that we're using for this one is A, C sharp, and E. So that's our triad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spread this out, and I'm going to take this C sharp, and I'm going to put it up an octave to right there. That way I actually have much more of a, you know, interesting sound. So you got string skipping happening here. So there's two different ways to practice this. You can practice it with a hybrid approach where your pick is going to be taking care of those two notes. And that note's going to be taken care of with the middle finger. That's one way. But if you want it to sound more aggressive, you need the pick to be really hitting that. So I definitely try to use this more for picking. So I just want to make sure that when I'm picking... I'm getting my, my pick escape from one string to the next. So that takes a little bit of practice, but that's really going to help you. So we're using that one. And then we're going to be using the fifth. That's going to be E, and that's on A7. And I'm using this triad. And that is my E triad. So I've got an A triad spread. And then I've got an E close triad. And that's going to be the makeup of this riff. So I'm going one and two and. So there's my first two eighth notes, or my first four eighth notes, my first two beats. And then I'm taking the triplet of that triad so one and two and triple it one and two and triple it e5 a7 g6 back to a7 then g4 d6 a7 and that gets me seven eight one and two and triple it. One and two and triple it. Then I'm moving down to the F sharp. And that's going to be on E2. And I'm using the exact same formula. I'm just changing the notes because the alphabet has to stay intact. So I'm going to go E2, A4, G2, back to A4, and then G1. D2, A4. So this is a F sharp minor, and this is C sharp minor. That's the fifth. If you're noticing, I'm building a triad off of the fifth. Same thing. One and two and triple it. One and two and triple it. Okay, so we do that for like the main verse and then when we go into the chorus, we're coming up here to the D. Same exact formula. So we're going to use a spread triad, E10, H12, G11, and that's going to be the D, A, and F sharp notes. And then we're going to be doing the triad that's close off the, off the fifth, the A. So that's going to be G9, D11, A12. Once again, four eighth notes and then triplet. Then we're going to B minor. And then F sharp minor. Once again, we're building that off the fifth. So that's going to be E7, A9, G7, G6, D7, A9. 
and that's going to give us B, F sharp, D, C sharp, A, F sharp. And there's that one. So when we put it all together, you have the A, F sharp. Then you do that again. Don't charge extra for mistakes. Now go and do the D. Then I go and do the B minor. So if you're noticing, it's got that same kind of vibe. And I'm using the same exact alphabet, so that keeps all the notes intact and they sound like they're connected. Make sure that you keep your alphabet intact. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And you'll be fine. All right, make sure that you guys are working on your string skipping when you're doing this. And the triplet, here's two different ways you can practice it. You can practice it with alternate picking. We're just down, up, down, right? Or you can do a sweep and do ups. I usually use the sweep because I want my accuracy just to be right on. But, you know, it really doesn't matter. I'll also go and do uh, alternate picking as well. It's whatever I'm feeling. So there's that. Okay, make sure that you're checking out the website, cwtucker.com, for the tabs. And uh, subscribe. That way you can grow with us. And everyone, y'all have a blessed week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.